Hey guys, welcome. It's Drew with Drew's Quick Fixes and Hacks. And uh, I know I haven't posted in a while. I'm here at Disney World. Well, this is actually Disney Springs. It's like the mall around Disney World. And this place is awesome. If you haven't been here, you gotta check it out. This is Disney World, and that's the bowling alley, Splitsville, right there. There's a bunch of other stuff. That's the, the circus, the acrobatic circus there. They got all sorts of cool stuff here. But today, what we're talking about is the AMC 24 Dine-In Disney Springs. Now, this was originally just an AMC 24, and they added an extension on here, and they made it a dine-in. So this is the, side, the regular side to the theater. Um, and I'll show you guys that in a little bit. We're gonna explore both entrances, but it's pretty massive here, so. This theater is like four stories tall inside, massive. So I'll show it to you in just a minute. And uh, these are the current shows right now. Aladdin and then, you know, keep up with the times. The date is, uh, I believe it's June 11th, 2019. So keeping you current with what's going on. All right, well, let's go check out the other side. As you can see, this is the main entrance. This is one of the main entrances. There's another side to the Disney Dine-In Disney Springs. So we'll head in there. But I did want to tell you, this has two massive theaters that are more than, they actually have a balcony in them. So uh, the Dolby Atmos has 274 seats and that's uh, four stories, but it's only, it's got a balcony upstairs. You have to go upstairs. Uh, or I guess it's three stories. And then there's also theater two, which is not Dolby Atmos, but that holds 574 seats, I believe they told me. So it's almost double what the Dolby is. Um, but it actually, uh, it'll actually seat uh, more people, but they have, they don't have all the effects of the Dolby. The Dolby theater actually has uh, vibrating seats and it's got speakers above you. So if you're in the middle of that theater, you are getting surround sound at its best. And I think a ticket is 18 something. Um, I have the AMC uh, All You Can Watch plan, which is pretty sweet. Um, you know, I don't even remember. It's called the Stubbs plan. I can't remember what it's called right now. But I paid $23 a month. You're required to have it for three months. So $60 commitment for the summer. And you can watch as many movies as you want, three per week at a time. There's some crazy kids up there. So we're going to walk over to the other side of the AMC uh, dine-in and you can see how big this is. There's stores on one side of this kind of tucked in front of the movie theater. The movie theater is still back there. And then you can actually see the roof of that Dolby Atmos right there. That's the Dolby Atmos theater. It is massive. And when you're inside there you can tell why the screen goes so high. So, Alright, I'll get back to you guys in a sec. We're going to head over to the uh, front of the Disney dine-in. Right, so we're coming around the corner of the other theater. Now this is the other side of the AMC 24. This is the dine-in side. So, you've got your Coca-Cola building there. They got lots of mixed drinks and stuff like that. And uh, something interesting, I brought a mixed drink in from out here, from like one of these bars or things like that. And even though they have a sign outside that says no outside food or drink, they never stopped me. Three different times I brought in a slushie from outside. So this is the outside of the AMC Dine-In Theaters. And this is the newer version, I guess, or newer side. And uh, I'll show you inside later there. But uh, as you can see, that entire side of the building actually is covered by stores. And then it's got, I think it's four theaters. It might be, they might be working on eight theaters. I'm not sure. But uh, right now they have four theaters operating for dine-in. And there's a couple theaters inside out of the 24 that are not working. I guess they're fixing them up. So, all right, well, let's go inside and I'll show you what's going on with that Dolby Atmos. So here's the Dolby Atmos Cinema. And as you walk in here, we've got the X-Men theme just on the wall here. It's a digital projector. It's like their iMac. Yeah, basically. And there's a movie playing in there right now, so I'm not going to go in there, but it is impressive, I will tell you that. And there's three floors to this theater. Amazing. 
there's a balcony, and then on the first and second floor, you can get up there. X-Men Dark Phoenix playing Dolby Atmos. Then over here, they've got theater number two. That's theater number one. Theater number two also has a balcony. That doesn't have the Dolby Atmos, but it's also got two stories to it. Okay guys, so we're inside the other, this is theater number two at the AMC Disney Springs. And as you can see, there's an upstairs balcony there, down here. And then your screen's over here where they're showing all the courses. The screen is massive. This is about the same size as the Dolby Atmos Theater. And it's got the same two stories, except in the Dolby Atmos, which we can't go in right now because there's a movie playing, there are speakers all over the ceiling and the seats vibrate. So this is impressive. Like I said, only, uh, I think only, there's only three theaters like this, three or four theaters like this in the country. There's one in New York, in Manhattan, I understand. And there's also one in, uh, here in Orlando, or in, uh, Orlando, Kissimmee area in the Disney area. Very impressive. I'm not sure the capacity of this theater, but it's the AMC Dine-In 24 Disney Springs. And that screen is massive. I mean, it's like three stories tall. Pretty awesome. must have road trip A good playlist. There's never a dull moment. Miles and miles of duct tape. A suitcase. So let's go upstairs on the balcony. We'll go upstairs in just a minute. So here's the lobby on the nine dining side. You come in, let's say to your left is the Dolby Digital on Theater 1 and Theater 2. So there's a bar here. You can drink alcohol at this Disney Springs Theater. And then there's a stairway. So let's go up the stairway. We're gonna go up to the second floor. The third floor rather. Oh Uh, 
I saw Dark Phoenix in this and I saw Godzilla. I will say, I'm not a fan of Godzilla, but it was pretty awesome. The seats vibrated every time Godzilla's seats, uh, foot bounced up and down. So, and on Dark Phoenix, there weren't too, too much seat vibration except when there was explosions. So I'm gonna keep going. This place is like a mile long. This, this movie theater has two entrances. So there's a hallway where there's a couple theaters down there. And then this is like the biggest circle area. This is actually where the two or two larger theaters are, 12 and 13. They're pretty large theaters. Um, pretty decent size. This is kind of their main area here. Then we're gonna walk down the hall here. Now guys, I will tell you the one disappointing thing about the Dolby Digital this week is their air conditioner was having problems in there. And when I watched both movies, Godzilla, I was sticking to their leather recliner seats. So I don't know how long it'll take for them to fix the uh, air conditioner in there, but it was like 78 to 80 degrees. The manager said it's supposed to be 70, so hopefully. It's... So now we're on the dining side here at Disney AMC 24 Dine-In. And there's a little bar here. And it's a totally separate entrance. So there's a nice little menu here. A little drink menu. So we find, here's, a, here's an actual menu right here. So I'll tell you guys what I have. So I got the big bite sampler here, and that was delicious. Um, so it's $16.29, and I got a large beer with it. And the large beer was almost $12 for uh, for craft cider. So you know you're paying for it because it's Disney Springs, it's a movie theater. Um, but the big bite sampler was really good, and it comes with a little bit of everything. It comes with some of these nachos, comes with some wings, comes with the pretzel bites. It's pretty darn good. So, all right. So that's what I recommend getting if you come to a dine-in AMC. And they've got a lot of other menu stuff here. Feel free to pause if you want, or you can look it up online. Okay. I will tell you the one thing I did not like about the dine-in is once you get your food, you can't really see where you're going. Some people closing out the check there. So over here they've got. Four dine in theaters is what it looks like. And depends on what's showing here. But so we've got Rocket Land playing. We've got Aladdin over here. So it varies. They, they change the films they're playing over here in there. And it's all the waiters and waitresses coming and going. <laughs> but uh, it does smell like drop food in here. I'm not going to lie. So that's just the way it works with carpet inside. Uh, a movie theater, so we're gonna take a peek in here if we can and just see what it looks like. Okay, so this is one of the dining theaters, guys. Okay, everything's kind of lit. You got your little tables here, and obviously, there's no balcony on this one. This is pretty much what all four theaters look like, I think. They could be a little different as you walk down here. You got your tables, your little setup, there's your servers and bussers working hard. good view of what it looks like here. Like I said, this is about all the light you have while you're watching a film. So it was an enjoyable experience. I just personally found it hard to eat and focus on the film at the same time. So I recommend seeing a film that you might not really care that much about the plot. So once again, it's the Diamond Theater. And yeah, like I said, one by the time I finished, uh, they take your order before you before you sit down during the previews, and then they bring your food out during the beginning. And uh, you know, like I said, I find it kind of hard to watch the movie and eat at the same time and focus. So uh, they do have a little button you push if you want service. You push a little button and it blinks, and they'll come and get you food. So we're gonna walk to the other side, back to the other side, and. Uh, I just keep talking to you guys about you know the food experience. And like I said, basically 
push a little button, they'll bring you refills on drinks, water, whatever you need. And you just gotta kinda whisper. Um, people do talk and make noise during the dine-in theaters. It's just something you deal with. So you can't shush people because they gotta talk to their waiters and waitresses. So like I said, it's an experience to enjoy. I wouldn't recommend going see one of your favorite movies that you really wanna focus on inside the dine-in theater because I found it a little bit harder to focus. Um, I luckily did not go see Avengers uh, the first time there. I went and saw it the second time. I'd already seen it, so if I missed some details, that was great. And tonight I saw event, rewatched Avengers for the third time. Avengers Endgame, great movie. So we're heading back out to the main lobby. And uh, we'll wrap it up. There it is. It's Avengers Endgame. And you know what's cool is you might be watching this 10 years from now and be like, yeah, I remember that movie. Right now, Aladdin's playing. And, and Men in Black International comes out this Thursday night. There's Rocket Man. And there's a promo for Dora the Explorer. Four seven years down. Lots of promos there. Yeah, Avengers Endgame is just about to leave theaters, I think. So. All right, here we go. Back out. Okay, guys. Well, that's about a, the tour of the theater. I want to thank you for joining me, and uh, hopefully you got to see this. Like I said, this is one of the coolest Dolby digital theaters, and I think there's only a couple of these. This is not just Dolby. It's called Dolby Atmos, and there's only a couple of these around the country. Um, and then there's only like three, three or four of the multi-story theaters. It's pretty cool. Thanks for joining me, guys. If you give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And uh, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already subscribed. This is Drew, Drew's Quick Fixes and Hacks, enjoying my Disney vacation. Have a good one, guys.